how to grow up spiritually hey if you want to learn how to grow spiritually then this video is for you my name is prophet clovis abai and by the grace of god i am the senior pastor and founder of new life city maryland usa look there are a lot of people who are in church but they have never learned how to grow in their spiritual life you know growing in the spirit is more important even than growing in the natural you know life is spiritual and like i always say the spiritual controls the natural it is wisdom to start learning how to win from the supernatural in order to be able to control the natural before anything happens in the physical it has happened in the spiritual and so you want to win in the physical you have to win in the spiritual but how can this happen when you have not grown in the realm of the spirit you know when a baby is born the baby is born into this natural life the baby has to start learning how to live the natural life they're going to learn how to talk they're going to learn how to crawl and how to walk and how to run they're going to learn how to eat everything is going to be learned because the baby is trying to adapt into a new environment it's amazing how people understand that about the natural but they don't understand that about the supernatural and so you must want to learn how to grow spiritually now your spiritual growth is what is going to determine how fortified you are on the inside to be able to combat and counter the works of the devil because he is always busy trying to spoil what God has placed inside of us trying to derail us from the right track of our destiny but hear me the first thing the Bible mentions when the Christians in the early church came together the Bible says they gave themselves to prayer number one consistent prayer helps your spiritual faculties to grow consistent prayer helps you in knowing the voice of God consistent prayer helps you to be sensitive in the realm of the spirit it sharpens your discernment consistent prayer helps you to understand the character of God it gives you the ability to build intimacy with the supernatural you understand what I'm saying so you must be intentional about building a prayer life the Bible says they consistent continued steadfastly in prayer so prayer is very important number two the word of God is something you should be addicted to if you want to grow spiritually nobody has spiritual power with biblical ignorance you have to be intentional about getting your spirit fed with the word of God if I give you two dogs and I tell you to lock them up in two rooms and then give food to one dog and starve the other dog, you're going to come back with a report that the dog that was being fed was healthy after two weeks while the one that was not being fed went very cranky and almost died, if not completely dead. Why? Because whatever you feed has power. And, and so you must learn to give yourself to the word read scriptures every single day listen to the word being preached every day watch it being taught every day play it on tapes every day you're driving put a sermon make sure you're getting your spirit man nourished with the word that is one of the fundamental keys of growing your spirit life Blessed is the man that walketh not in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, nor standeth in the way. He says, but his delight is in the perfect law of the Lord, and in it he meditates day and night. He says, his leaves shall be evergreen. You want your spirit realm to be so swollen that it affects your natural realm, you got to go with the word of God. The entrance, the entrance of the word brings light and giveth understanding to the simple. The word of God is so powerful. It brightens your spirit, man. Number three, the other thing that helps you to grow in your spiritual life is obedience. Obedience to the word of God, obedience to the little promptings of the Holy Spirit inside of you helps you to grow in your walk with God. You know, it is one thing to be a Christian. It is one thing to give your life to Christ. It's another thing to know him. Obedience helps you to know him. Every relationship is built on obedience. There are things I don't like and you're not going to do them to me. There are things you don't like and I'm not going to do them to you. I have to obey 
say what you like and what you don't like and so it strengthens our bond because we grow to understand each other when they say a couple understand each other it's because they have learned to obey the things that the other person likes and the things they don't like so your relationship with God is gonna grow on the foundation of your obedience little acts of obedience maybe the the leadings of the spirit inside of you maybe a scripture you read that told you hey you gotta forgive and then you got out of that place of prayer you read it and you prayed about it and you went straight to that person and you called him or her and made things up and you say God is leading me to forgive it takes a lot of strength to walk in obedience you gotta be intentional about it you want your spiritual life to grow obey obey the next thing that helps your spiritual life to grow is fasting when you fast the Bible makes us to understand that the flesh and the spirit are at war towards each other now you must understand this very clearly fasting does not change God fasting changes you your fasting does not help God to answer your prayers it doesn't give him more strength to do what you're asking for maybe because you think it's difficult your fasting helps you to fall into alignment your fasting helps to subdue the flesh on that the leading of the spirit remember the Bible says the flesh and the spirit are at war against one another so fasting is you repositioning yourself to give your spirit power over the flesh because the Bible declares that to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace I pray for somebody today that God is gonna help you to fast effectively fast every now and then at least once a week if you really want to be intentional about growing in your walk with God you want to start hearing the voice of God you want to sharpen your discernment you want to start healing the sick you want your words to carry power you you have to be a fasting person at least once in a week you want people to to fuel and to drink from what God has given you and the last I'm going to point out today is your association one of the greatest things that helped me in my Christian walk was the people that I hung around you know your association determines what follows you you have to hang around people who love what you love who are passionate about your God who love the word like you who love to pray like you who love to fast like you who are obedient like you you have to hang around people who have tested and and seen that the things you are desiring are actually real you have to hang around if you want to hear the voice of God you have to hang around people who are actually hearing the voice of God you want to grow in your understanding of the scriptures you've got to hang around the people who are already triumphing in their understanding of the scriptures at least they should be somewhere you've got to hang around people have mentors people in your life associate with people that are already experiencing what you are trusting the Lord for your association is very important now if you love this video and you understand what I've said and you were so blessed I want you to go ahead and click the like button and if you have not subscribed or follow I want you to do so and turn on the notification bell so that you will always be notified whenever I put out something to bless your soul God bless you and see you on the next one